right. Uh, this is the first part of lab two, which you'll find on the uh, main content page on chapter two for lab two projectile motion forces acceleration uh, using video analysis and FET. All right, so for the first part, I'll be using a logger pro on the computer, but since we can't be in lab this semester, I'll be doing this part for you. And then the back side, you'll be doing yourself using the FET simulation programs. So page two, and then there's a uh, for two and three. And then on part four, there's a YouTube video of uh, Indy 500 car race. And the links are all there on chapter two. So I will go through uh, the first part here. So you might want to grab your handout while you look at this video, which I'm going to post here and start from here. So what we have is a basketball player uh, who will be shooting a basket and will be plotting um, the position of this ball as it travels. And we'll be plotting the the horizontal position, X, versus time, the vertical position, Y versus time, and then uh, the second graph, third graph will be the velocity in the X direction versus time, and then the velocity in the Y direction versus time. Now keep in mind, the only thing that's different between these two uh, directions is that gravity is acting downwards. So that will give us uh, the projectile motion we'll be looking for in this lab. So I'm going to go through it uh, step by step, starting until he, just before he hits the ground. So I'm going to go one, two, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and one more, 39. All right, so here's the X, the horizontal position versus time, uh, the Y position versus time, uh, the x velocity versus time and the that. So what we're going to be doing is looking at uh, the slope of each graph. So let's take this graph and what you can do is highlight uh, the part there. Then we do analyze linear fit and you can look on there uh, we have a slope of three point zero seven six meters per second and that is that would uh, correspond to the velocity next we're going to do the Oh, then we'll do the acceleration. If we plot the velocity versus time, and for there we get uh, roughly an acceleration of 0.126, or very close to zero. If you look at the graph, this is basically roughly a horizontal line. The acceleration of that should be zero. 
as you would expect, since we do not have gravity interacting on it. Okay. Well, if we look at the Y graph, um, analyze. If we look at this graph, you can see a linear fit won't work. So we're gonna go up and try curve fit and see which one fits the best. And, well, let's see, if we do a linear fit, it fits very poorly. Here's the curve, and then here's the line. You can see it's very full, poor. Uh, and the correlation is very bad. So we'll try the quadratic, and that gives us a correlation of almost exactly one. So this turns out to be a quadratic fit, and that is the position, that is the best fit for this. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get the position versus time, the velocity, because the velocity changes constantly as it's rising and falling. So to get the acceleration, we're going to highlight the bottom graph, do analyze, linear fit, and we get here a linear fit of minus 9.747 meters per second squared, uh, which corresponds very closely to the actual value of minus 9.81 or 9.80, I should say, for this particular lab. Um, we get the height. Okay, so that should be enough data to get the, uh, to do your analysis for lab. Again, this is X versus time. <coughs> Slope is velocity. Uh, for y versus time, we see we get a parabola, which is a quadratic fit. Uh, for velocity versus time, the line is roughly zero for the slope, which corresponds pretty closely to uh, the fact that we have no acceleration. So it's roughly zero. And then for y versus time, y velocity versus time, the slope of that is acceleration. And that is lab number two, part A.